This tiny device will change your listening experience. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This tiny little gizmo is the FIO Jade Audio KA1 Compact Portable DAC and Amp. And it's a really simple idea. You plug this into your music source, you plug headphones into the 3.5 millimeter jack on the other end, and it improves the music. How easy is that, right? It's actually built around what's known as the ES9281AC, which is a Pro DAC chip, and it gives it a lot of capabilities. It can work with up to 32-bit, 384 kilohertz lossless reproduction. It's certified MQA rendering, which is master quality assured, which is super fancy stuff, which just means that you have a huge amount of information from the original music source, so you're getting the best possible reproduction. And it also supports DSD 512, so super easy. You plug it in and you go. So I have a Google Pixel 6 Pro, which has a USB-C connection on it, so I'll plug it in. It does not have a 3.5 millimeter connection. So if I want to listen to wired headphones, and I do get tired of Bluetooth, if I want to listen to wired headphones, I have to plug in some sort of adapter. Why not have an adapter that does more for me, right? These, by the way, are the Biodynamic Tiger 300R. Very nice headphones. So I'm going to plug it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and play. I have some Cubuzz music queued up, and I'm going to play some Simon and Garfunkel. Just put these on and oh, that sounds very nice let's see what else I can find here and so now we're listening to fleet foxes and notice what's happened is the little light on here has turned yellow that means it's getting a higher quality audio source as I pause it's gone blue again but if I play the music then see how it's yellow so that shows you the RGB is actually a status light indicator. And that's really handy because if you think you're getting really quality music from say Tidal or Cubas or something, then you can look at this and you can say, hmm, why is it still blue? That's puzzling. Or hopefully you look at it and you say, ah, it's what my ears are telling me. I'm getting a better quality audio signal. And that's what you want. Now, one of the things that's really cool is, let me go ahead and stop this, is that it actually also has an app. So Fio has put an app out there. So let me just go ahead and get the screen recording started. And there we go. And now I can go to the app and I'll show you. It's going to say, do you really want it to connect? Then I'll say yes. And now it gives me some control. Now, the device itself is really simple. Let me show you a couple of close-ups real quick because there's nothing here. There's no switches, there's no dials, there's no volume adjustments, there's no on or off or enable or disable, nothing. It's literally a plug and play piece of hardware. So the way that you control it for the tiny little bit of controls that it has is through the app. You can ignore the app completely and you'll be fine. But notice it lets me turn on and off the inline microphone support if I just want to turn it off. I can turn on or off the indicator lights if I'm like, you know, in the dark and I just don't want that little blue or yellow or a purple light going on. And I can also switch whether it's using USB 1 or 2. USB 2 is better, but it might not work. So if you try that and suddenly you're not hearing any audio, switch back to the first one. You can also tap on audio on the bottom, and then it gives you access to these low-pass filters. I'm going to guess you'll never, ever touch this, but if you're a hardcore audiophile, this might be something that you'll want to play with, and that's totally cool. You can also reset the whole thing. I just, whoops, let me just tap on the gear on the top right, restore to default settings. So I can do that if I've been playing with it and I'm not sure I want to like leave those settings. And then let me go ahead and turn off the recording. And that's really everything. It's really a simple, straightforward device. In fact, in the box, when you open up the packaging, you'll find that the box falls. That's okay. We don't need it again. It has instructions and it has a very small USB-C to USB-A adapter. 
Now I have it plugged into a USB-C device and I have also experimented with it plugged into my MacBook Pro, which is also USB-C. But if you have a different device, no worries, you can do this for USB-A and then they sell a completely different version of it that has lightning on the end, a lightning connector, instead of the USB-C. So there's four variants on this. There are lightning versus USB-C, and then there's this black version versus, there's a really cool dark green that they have too. Now, dimensions wise, it's 43 millimeters by 15 millimeters by eight millimeters, and it's 10 grams. It's so light that if you're wearing any jewelry, I bet your jewelry's heavier than this device. And yet, it does so much for your audio. In fact, I really love these things. It takes every sort of device that you plug in and brings it to the next level. If you have mediocre headphones, they're gonna sound pretty good. If you have pretty darn good headphones, they're gonna sound really good. And if you're at the top end with audiophile gear, you're gonna plug these in and you're gonna say, yep, this is why you use a DAC and amp, because it just makes it better. You get a bigger sound stage, a more precise reproduction, it's a warmer sound, it's just a lovely, lovely sound. And I've listened to a lot of different music with this, from Simon and Garfunkel to ACDC, really all over the map. And man, it all just sounds so good. Even with these biodynamics, these are not top of the line biodynamics. And boy, they sure sound good with this little device in line. So there's really not much else I can tell you about this other than the price. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel. Click or a tap on that subscribe button, then turn on notifications so you know about my new reviews. We're connected. Awesome. Now. This is the FIO Jade Audio KA1 Compact Portable DAC and Amp. This is the USB-C version in black, and it is $49.99 at Amazon.com. If you switch to Lightning, the Lightning versions are $5 more, but either way, if you're poised to spend some money on an adapter so you can plug a 3.5 millimeter device into a unit like this that doesn't have 3.5 millimeter, why not upgrade and actually have it do something for you and improve your audio? These are just, it's just a great setup. So in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and go right back to that AC-DC because I mean, honestly, who doesn't like AC-DC, right? So let's get here and all right, well, we're rocking again. So <laughs> I'll catch you, I hope, in my next video.